for the last six months, I've been working on my own NFT project that uh, I believe is gonna change the game. The Paul brothers are always in the news for something. Usually it's boxing related. Most of the time it's drama related. But this time, Logan Paul is talking about making his own NFT project. So on August 18th, Logan Paul revealed he's starting his own crypto project called CryptoZoo. Logan's new thing is CryptoZoo, which is an NFT game. He's going hard into the NFT game. You know, yeah. which oh, I forgot about that. He's scamming people them. right now. The thing about Logan Paul is he's always gonna do something that's gonna make him money. He's gonna open up Pokemon cards. He's gonna go into boxing. He's gonna sell NFTs. Do you remember I made a video? Video was about Logan Paul selling NFTs of him as a Pokemon card that sold out within minutes of him selling them. I feel like people forgot about this NFT project that he had. And then a few months ago, he had another cryptocurrency project called Dink Doink. I never spoke about that because it didn't seem like it was gonna last. YouTuber accuses Logan Paul of creating and promoting Dink Doink coin cryptocurrency scam. And what is this? This is a coil with eyes? This is the dumbest, most ridiculous coin I've ever seen and that's why I'm all in. Want you to dink on my face, take a doink on my chest, yeah. Why are they, what's with the South Park animation? This is ridiculous. And now. Logan Paul's most recent quote-unquote scam is CryptoZoo and let me show you exactly what we got going on here that uh, I believe is gonna change the game what's going on guys welcome back to the Astro show hopefully you're having a good day we're talking about good old sweet innocent Logan Paul remember Logan Paul this guy he's been on the up and up recently people love him he's a nice guy he would never scam you it is hysterical that anyone thinks this dude is a nice guy. Logan Paul on September 3rd. I've waited seven months for this. So right now he's teasing the NFT project that's supposed to drop that day. This is the OpenSea website where you can buy all of the NFTs and they're eggs. If it looks familiar, it's because they're kind of like Pokemon eggs. You buy an egg, it hatches, and then I guess you crossbreed it with someone else who has another hatched egg and then it becomes an nf like a different version of an nft you know in pokemon go how you have an egg and you got to walk around until it hatches is that what he's doing here so crypto zoo is an autonomous ecosystem where users can buy sell and trade exotic animal hybrid nfts hybrids are categorized by rarity the rarer your animal the more they yield is he just trying to start a game? I think my game is gonna make uh, make some waves. So at launch, they launched 10,000 first generation eggs. Just like Pokemon cards, there's common oncoming rare super rare epic. And then there's a breeding mechanism where your egg hatches and then you breed it with someone else who has an egg and then it becomes one of these hybrid animals. Oh my God, hybrid animals, look at that panda. So you can start off with a common butterfly, get a rare gorilla, pop them into the egg and it becomes one of these three variations. What on earth is this? A monkey with wings? The whole product is strange. If you want to know more about the NFT side of things, you can watch CoffeeZilla's video because he goes into depth talking about anything NFT or cryptocurrency related. So basically it's an NFT breeding game. And I want to tell you right away, this is not a fresh take. Uh, tons of these exist. CryptoKitties, Axie Infinity, Wave Ducks. There are millions of these. So basically CryptoZoo is Logan Paul's own spin on this idea. The main problem people are having with this NFT project that Logan Paul has is the fact that he's using stock images from Adobe. Okay, here's their Instagram haircut. <laughs> this is what you could possibly get. Lion plus kitten equals Linton. Wow, that was good. Oh, super rare. Penguin plus a shark is a penguin shark. Pretty cool name. I can't believe they came with, up with such creative names. That's for sure. Kind of reminds me of Avatar, The Last Airbender. How every single one of the animals are two animals combined, like Appa. Like they're all hybrid creatures. Like this right here, an otter penguin, a turtle seal, a tiger seal. Is Logan Paul just trying to copy Avatar The Last Airbender? No, that will be way too creative for Logan. Paul. But what Logan Paul is doing is he's taking Adobe stock images and he's using them and combining them to make NFTs that people are paying thousands of dollars for. It's taken six months. Apparently that's seven months of development and all they did is take stock animals, stock images of animals, sorry, and Photoshop them to be part another animal. Here's the Adobe stock website, okay? The Adobe stock website. Let's type in lion. Oh, you see this lion? This is the exact same line from the crypto zoo um, Litten. Completely, they didn't even change the background. They, c they couldn't have cropped it out and put it into a different location. Nope. For a standard license, you can get this for free. What the heck is this thing? We got a panda cat. Wow, that's really good. Look at this. Who would want to pay anything for this? You know what? Let's check out the penguin. Let's see if we can find a picture of a penguin here on the Adobe website. You see this? There's the Adobe stock image right here of the penguin. Bang. Just a little bit of a zoom at a shark face and you're gold. It's easy. You know, you want a picture of a panda in a tree, but you just add a trunk. Just go onto the website here. 
plenty of pictures of pandas and trees. It's so creative. We handmade art for the pack. Huh? Handmade? Okay, Logan. Mm. Do you mean handmade on Photoshop? Doesn't take that long. Here, I'll show you. I'll make one myself. Okay, here we have a picture of Dixie D'Amelio. And we're going to add... Oh, look at this nice little lamb. And we're going to call it a damn Dixie and... Uh, I guess I can come up with something better. Lo and behold, here we have the Dixie lamb. Boom. Slap some money on it. 0.1 Ethereum right here. Trade it on the blockchain. This is for you. You guys can take this. I'll give it to you for free. So many options here. Here you have all these up top. So this is so cool, guys. I don't know why I didn't buy in when I had the chance. Floor price 0.3 Ethereum. So all of these here are all sold. The base price was 0.1 Ethereum, and that's like what $300. If you sold 10,000 of these for 0.1 Ethereum to start. How much money did Logan Paul make? Oh yeah, okay, so I was right. 0.1 Ethereum is $302. $302, sold 10,000 right off the bat. Are you freaking, this guy's made 3 million US, give or take. This man managed to convince you guys that stock photos were worth a million dollars. And I wonder if he makes money off of people that resell them, because now the price is up to 0.3 Ethereum. It's a thousand dollars for one of these. Let's look at some of the testimonials of some people that bought these. Okay, this gotta be great. <laughs> this guy's like, what a scam. I lost 200 euros in gas fees and full of bots. I would suggest anyone trying to buy from them actually not. Transactions fail all the time and it's absolutely pointless. No hard feelings, CryptoZoo, but you guys, you guys really suck at this. My wallet never approved of the sale. People actually wanted to buy this. That's the worst part. He's actually scamming all of his fans. These are his fans. They said it would have been live at a certain time and it wasn't. They said the prize was 0.1 ETH and it wasn't. It's just hype to create an auction on OpenSea to pay their debts. Logan Paul, scam. Like g gas fees, by the way, for people who aren't in crypto is when you make a transaction, if the network is clogged, you have to pay a, a, a fee to get your transaction from A to B, it's called gas. Um, Sounds I, like tax. Pretty much. Maybe sure that guy was right. Maybe they were just trying to pay down their fees. This is BS. Waited all the time for them to upload eggs to their website and nothing. If you look at most of these tweets, people aren't mad that this is a waste of money. People are mad because they thought it was a scam because the wallets didn't work and you couldn't actually buy them. Look at all these people that actually try to buy it. I understand. When you see something like this, like who wouldn't want to invest? It is hysterical that anyone thinks this dude is a nice guy. I like how they're displaying all of the stock images that they've stolen from Adobe. All of these. They're like, these are the base animals. Ten different artists making art Ten? for our project. A development team that has to be wizards because you're dealing with blockchain, people's money, uh, transactions. CoffeeZilla said, don't support this clown's project. My guy is literally ripping off stock photos and their admin, Ben Roth, is lying about it in the Telegram. Ben Roth said what? The NFTs are not Adobe stock. All of the NFTs were created, are specifically designed by us and our team. Okay, using Photoshop and splicing together two animals isn't considered designing, okay? Like you didn't create the image. You didn't even cut it out from the background. But well, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below. Follow me on Twitch because I'm going to be live this weekend or today. I don't know. I don't know. Ten different artists making art. Yeah, uh, that they're like literally pulling it from fucking stock photography. Yeah, and then photoshopping like an elephant trunk on a panda and selling it as an NFT, which is terrible for the environment. Yeah. And it's not even like he like... <laughs> went and paid for individual uses on that he's got like his editor has like a 50 dollar a month creative cloud <laughs> add-on subscription and in photoshop oh my God. he just takes these images that are readily of it like